So what do you want to do? Selected movie details. Hmm, let's see, how should we do this? Oh. Oh. So, uh, so the way we, every time it changes is when we want to run the function, right? So we need an event listener uh, and figure out uh, an event listener that uh, that runs every time this thing gets changed. So let's say you don't know what, you don't know about the best event listener that's gonna make that possible. So let's Google it. This is a select tag. So let's just do a select. Throw in JS, select. It's showing on change. So let's do select on change. Let's see what that is. Let's go in. Execute with JavaScript when a user changes to select the option from a select element. So yeah, let's try it. Mm. So, okay, let's see what happens. You select the BMW. So this is exactly what we want, right? We want to target. We want something to happen every time this changes. So so far so good. And so it's running the my function. Let's check out my function. What it does, it's uh, as we can see, it gets the my select. My select meaning the select type, and it's getting the dot value of it. So we just prove that without googling we kind of just proved or figured out that the way we can get it it's the value but what we wanted what we didn't know was what event listener would make that happen uh, and I believe oh yeah the event listener is on change is the event listener they used so let's go back here and we could actually see that on change is something it, it's uh, it appears on the select uh, tag as, uh, itself mm. So did I miss it? On change right here. On change right now it's null. So we're going to add a on change event to it. So let's throw it here and DOM content loaded. Uh, let's grab it. Document dot query selector. Let's select the tag. And then just to be safe, let's oh wait, I didn't put in a variable, but we can do that as well. Const select tag is equal to that console log select tag and we have our select tag. Uh, we don't want to console log, we want to do console dr. So let's refresh and we have the select. Okay, good. We're selecting the correct stuff. We're selecting the correct correct stuff. And every time I'm working on my JavaScript, I always console log things every one or two lines later just to make sure I know where I'm at and I have to go back later on so let's throw our event listener on it so let's do a select uh, too far uh, listener. and then um, it was what on change I spelled it wrong C H A on change so let's see if this works if not we'll, we can always just change it later on uh, so every time you do something, just console log. It's the best way. One cut promise. Two arguments required. What's? What do you mean? So on change, this would not. Apparently, it's not working. Line nine, so it's not working. Uh, so let's not add a event listener. Let's do a on change. And then we'll set it equal to um, the function. And, and let's see if this works. So let's do a console.log. OK, no error so far. OK. So we can see every time it changes, it's, it's console log is something, and it's adding undefined stuff. So it's working. It's adding three things, which is good. So um, let's delete this. Selected movie. So what we can do is we could just actually uh, add, turn this whole thing into a function, and then we can call that function later here.
Uh, what we did was we needed a target, so we're going to put the target later on. So we're going to call the function only. Uh, the object we have to pass is the object that's been chosen, so we have to kind of check if the title, the current title is equal to the object title when we loop through it. So let's do a loop. Um, for this, let's just do it for each. Uh, you know, just do a for loop. For. Okay. And then this will go here. So we're going to look through it, and then if a condition is met, so the condition is all movie data. If all movie data, and then since it's a for loop, we want to actually make sure we're selecting the, the one we're at. If this that title is equal to is equal to what is equal to the current selected thing, so the way we get that is with the select tag that value. So let's do select tag dot value. So let's do console log. Uh, um, not the thing. Let's do console log. Let's console log the whole data, the object itself. Uh, so yeah, let's see what happens now. Let's change it. Okay, we are getting something. Title castle in the sky. Grave of the fireflies. Okay, good. Okay, let's check the last one. So we are getting the correct object that we want. Uh, now these will be holding the three information that we need to display. So that's good. Okay, let's just clean this up a little. So if that condition is met, meaning if that's the right thing, we want to stop the loop. So that we stop the loop is a return. Oh, that's one way to stop the loop using return. So, but before we return, what we want to do is we want to run this function, right? So let's uh, too much. Let's do a copy. We want to run this function, and the object we're passing in is the all movie data at the current thing we're at. So let's refresh. Let's see what happens, and it works. So it works, but the only problem is, is that it's appending it every time we change it. But we don't want that. We want it to, uh, we want it to make it look like it's showing a new one every time. So we have one little issue here, one little bug. So how do we fix that issue? Mm -hmm. Since we already have a function that's running every time this thing changes, let's just do something with the function in itself. 